Islanders, welcome back to another shark video. As most of you guys know, I believe that great white sharks are in British waters, backed by scientific research. However, tiger sharks in British waters? Let's get into it. Before I get down to business, the channel has had almost a million views now, 13,000 subscribers, so I'd like to thank each and every one of you for making this possible. And I'll explain why that's so important because we've got some exciting news at the end of the video. Tiger sharks in British waters. Basically, a report surfaced this week from Miami University, which I'll get into shortly, but all the main British newspapers posted news articles saying along the lines of tiger sharks heading for British waters. We could see killer sharks in our waters, tiger sharks. I'm going to explain to you, and we're going to break this down, what I think about tiger sharks in British waters. So this research has surfaced from Miami University. The head of shark research, Dr. Neil Hammerschlag, basically posted uh, nine years worth of research involving 8,700 sharks from tagging, satellite tags, to uh, when they've caught them or other scientists work. And they found that these sharks are venturing poleward in their migration, further up the coast uh, in the northeast of the United States. Uh, due to global warming and typical British tabloids. I mean, if you look at them, some of them have even included pictures of sand tiger sharks in the article, which shows how little they actually know. I've claimed that tiger sharks, because they have gone this 270 miles further north in America, that they could be on their way here. I'm gonna tell you a little bit about tiger sharks. So tiger sharks, they grow up to about 15 feet, can weigh up to 3,000 pounds. They're a cold-blooded shark. So what that actually means is, unlike the great white shark, which is a lamnidae shark, Tiger sharks cannot keep their body temperature higher than that of the surrounding water. So your great whites, your makos, your poor beagles, they can all swim in relatively temperate cold waters. Remember, there was a great white shark attack in a sub-Antarctic island, six degrees Celsius. Tiger sharks, however, are more favorable in 22 degrees water. That's what the Goldilocks zone is, Celsius. Yeah. But they like it much warmer than that. I free dive from tiger sharks in Australia. That they were mature adults, and in Grand Cayman, which is in the Caribbean, with juveniles. And the water there was warm. Definitely not the same as off, off British waters. Okay. What the newspapers have ran away with a little bit here is they're saying that for every one degree Celsius rise in temperature, these tiger sharks can go a further 250 miles. Which yeah, fair enough. But if you look at the distance of the Atlantic in miles, they're not coming here in our lifetime. So yeah, sure. The Northeast Atlantic by uh, sort of Boston, New York area in the summer months have seen a rise of about two degrees Celsius in the last 50 years. Uh, however, in the UK, since like records began or whatever in 1870, our sea temperatures have only gone up about 0.7 degrees Celsius. So it's not enough to warrant these in our waters. So my opinion and my viewpoint on this is tiger sharks will not be in British waters in any of our lifetimes. They're not a lamnidae shark, so they can't regulate their body temperature. Okay, so time for a few other updates, and this is quite exciting. So as you know, O-Search, the shark tagging people, are coming to the UK August, September time for a four and a half week expedition. Well, Chris Fisher, their lead expedition, sort of top man there, has invited me to come on board uh, in the British expedition for a few days to see how it's all going, meet the team and bring you guys along for the ride. So if there's anything you want to know, anything you want me to cover, let me know uh, in the comments below or through Instagram. Also, it's not all good news. I had some funding for my own expedition pulled. The people who were funding me essentially said because there's a professional expedition now that they didn't think it was financially viable. Can't really knock them for that. I hold no animosity towards O-Search, but I am still looking for help. So if you can help me get out there as well, more than happy to. I'm going to do this consistently. It's not going to be a one-off. I've already mentioned about I want to get my own boat and I have started some progress on that. So where I live in Laxey, I have secured a boat park, which means that I now have a spot for a boat. There's a waiting list for these for years. And luckily I managed to get mine fairly handy. Whether I get a warrior or something like uh, an Orkney or even a rib potentially, stay tuned for that. That is going to be awesome for certainly going out looking for Makos in the Welsh waters, uh, chumming, shark fishing, free diving from it, even, even overnight camping from the boat. I don't know if you can call it camping. Another update on the sharks. If you recall, I did post about their largest shark confirmed closest to our waters last September. It was in the Bay of Biscay. Well, about a month after that, there was another white shark filmed further up actually, 
Uh, in this place, it begins with an R, can't remember exactly what it is. They thought it could have been the same shark, but it seemed to be a little bit smaller, so that's a good sign. The reason I didn't get this information was it was only released in Spanish, so my usual search uh, techniques and some other strategies weren't working, so now I search in other languages just to see what's out there. There we go. If you are interested in uh, tracking some tiger sharks, use the O-Search tracker. There's a shark, there's a tiger shark that's gone quite far out at the moment, it's worth a look for. They're quite a timid shark in my opinion. People who may have other opinions, but from the encounters I've had, they're quite timid and there's a guy called YBS on YouTube who's always out Western Australia swimming with these. He even had his mum swimming with them. So let's take the fear out of sharks a little bit. Oh yeah, lastly, I did get quite a lot of comments as to why I was uh, in the woods in the last video for a shark video. So that's why I've come to the sea for you guys, okay? It's all for you. <laughs> Cheers.